Hello, Dale friend. This is Yule Humphreys, and I'm glad to share a 10-minute message with you again. And this message I've entitled, Does Your Feet Need Washing? Does Your Feet Need Washing? The Bible says over in the, in the uh, 16th chapter of, uh, of, of uh, John, we read really some, some interesting, it's the 13th chapter of John, where Jesus is washing the feet of his disciples. And Peter said to him, um, Lord, you shall not wash my feet. Uh, that's too humble a job for you. And Jesus said, if I do not wash your feet, you will have no part of me. And Peter said, well, if that's the case, wash me all over. <laughs> but then Jesus said, you need not be washed all over because you're clean. But your feet get dirty and need washing. Now, what did he mean by that? He mean, I think, number one, the lesson of humility. Doing for others what they need, what's good for them. And uh, in those days, they had paid uh, workers and that uh, dwelt in their homes, and they, they were paid, to, they were servants. And part of their job was to wash the feet of the friends who came to visit with them. Because in those days, they, so many of them walked just barefooted with sandals all the time. And so it was interesting that Jesus said, you, uh, I, you're you already washed all over and you're clean, but I, I need to wash your feet. I think he meant this, that when you're saved by grace and bought by the blood, you're saved forever. You're clean all over. But in the meantime, after we're saved, before God calls us home, we still commit sin. Not because we delight in it, but it's just something there we're going to do it. And when we do, we need to confess it in order to keep our hearts humble, in order to keep our minds upon the Lord and loving him, in order to know that we are not sufficient in ourselves. We need help, help from God. And so for these reasons, we need to confess our sins that we commit after we're saved. Though they're already paid for, and though we're not going to stand before them in the judgment, I don't believe, yet they're going to be considered here in this life and we need to keep our feet clean by confessing sin. Sin is a good thing to confess even among God's people even because it is the word of God. We are saved from it but we're we're commanded to do it. Over in the book of First John the first chapter verse 9 it says if we confess our sins he is faithful to forgive our sins and it cleanses us from all unrighteousness. If we say we have no sin, we do not tell the truth. And so you see, after we're saved, though it's regrettable, yet we fall short. And because of the sins after we are saved, uh, Jesus calls it the washing of our feet. And we need to confess those sins in order to keep our own hearts right with God. It's a good thing. We will need to walk spiritually. We need to keep our minds upon the things of God. We need to see the things of the Lord are more important than the things of the world. The Bible says over in the 15th chapter of Luke, a very important parable of the prodigal son. And the prodigal son went out and spent his living and his money and, and sinful living. And he came to be in want and ended up in the pig pen. And he realized that he needed to get back to his father's house. And so he went back, started back, and the father met him and threw his arms around him, kissed him, and said, Welcome home, son. Welcome home. The boy wanted to come back and ask his father to forgive him. And so it was that, that uh, the elder brother was in the field. And when he came in, uh, he noticed all of the things going on. And he said, What's happening? And, they told him that his, bro his brother had come back from the far country and uh, his father had welcomed him and, and was going to have a, have a feast for him that night. And so he made the elder brother mad. And when the father came to him, he said, I don't want to come to the meeting. He said, I've worked for you for years and I've never caused you any trouble and you've never made for me any, any feast. And here it is that you're son comes from a far country of sin, spent all his money and sin for living and, and you make for him a feast. And the father said, son, 
you, I'm always with you. I'm always with you. And he, and he said, all I have is yours. You know, I think God says that to you, dear Christian, that all that, 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 that he's always with you, always with you, and that all he has is yours. Hallelujah. Anyway, he said, this, my, this your brother, it's worthy to have a feast for him. He was dead, but now he's alive. He was lost, but now he's found. Hallelujah. And that's what's happened to you, dear Christian. You were dead spiritually, but you were alive. Hallelujah. And you will never die again. You will never die. You're in the hands of God, and you're safe and saved forever. But there are times when we still do the wrong thing, and we need to confess it and ask God to forgive us. And then we need to pray for others that have done wrong to us. We need to have a forgiving heart and pray with a confessing heart. And then he, he, he said, you were, he was, he, your, your brother was, was lost, but now he's found. Hallelujah. He was lost, but now he's found. And so when you're walking with the Lord in the light of his word, you're not walking in sin and darkness any longer. You're walking in the light, and the light is the light of the world. Hallelujah. It's the light of the world. And you are the light. Shine for Jesus because God is your strength. He's your hope and help and he loves you and he will love you forever. Hallelujah. The hand of the Lord is good upon his people. To love the Lord and walk with him by faith. Trust him every day and know that there are times when you yet need to confess your sins because they are temporary now but they are needing to be confessed so that your heart can stay right before your God. Look up and keep going because God's going with you. Love the Lord and love others and you'll find life worth living. God bless you. God help you to keep on keeping on because when you walk with the Lord, he's there beside you. Just say, I'm here. I'll never leave you. Praise the Lord God. Praise his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's the way we need to walk. To walk with God. To live for Him. To live for Him all the way. And to bless His holy name. Now, uh, pray a brief prayer with me. Confessing your sins. I want you to pray and be sure you're going to heaven. That you've been saved by grace and bought by the blood. Pray a prayer like this and say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he paid the price for all my sins. I believe he rose again. And I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus. And help me live for you. Amen and amen. Find your good church now. And worship God with his people. And remember this. Dear friends, you that are Christians, remember, God loves you and I love you. Amen and amen.